All right, hi guys. I'm just gonna show you the code or script I made for um, the accounting department at my company for basically doing um, a bank uh, reconciliations. So let me show you, for example, what they do manually first. So for example, in here, so what they do is they basically, this is uh, their summary and what they have here. And for example, what they have here is um, they get two files. They download it from two different websites, one called uh, CBT and this other one called Yardi. So they just, they just download these two raw files from, oops. Oh shit! From uh, uh, their websites. So, oops, oh, crap. Let me just make this a little bigger here. Yeah. So, so for example, um, not in this example, but th these are. This is just an example of what the raw file looks like. So, they would basically just um have to manually copy oh like for example <coughs> this one they would copy this this one cbt this value in cbt in here and the same one in yardy so whatever this name is uh this bank is they would have to copy that the amount here into here and they would compare um and they would see if there's any differences in it and they would uh sum up the differences to see right there so for example in this one they copied all the amounts from cbt and then also from yardy and then just this formula just subtracts the difference and um and so, you, so they can know what the final total difference is. And on this page, they just it's just basically a summary of all different uh, properties and they're uh, reconciling the two banks, basically. Reconciling the two like deposits. So what my code basically does is um, it takes uh, the two these raw files and it, it generates this entire summary sheet here so let me go ahead and just uh, show you how that works here I'll close out this one here's the code here well yeah so um, so yeah before I run the first well there's two parts of the program um, before I run it I, I just have to show you what it does the first part of the program first part of the program it just filters out the um, the raw files so for example in this yardy one it just um it just deletes any um negative numbers in here and if, if there's any amount here that's a negative number it will remove it um from the file so it's easier to run and in here um i can just show you the code here Basically, there there's some strings that aren't needed in uh, in this file. So, what what this part of the code is just removes. Like for example, if any of the code has these strings in it, it, it would just remove that row from uh, from this uh, entire Excel file. So, let me. Okay, so, so for example, let me just show you how many rows is in this one. About 700, it's, uh, 742. And all I have to do is just copy and paste them into this folder where the program runs on the Excel file. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this, uh, the first program. So running it here. And then it finished okay 
and then I can open up this file here and then as you can see it's um, it's uh, about 100 lust or so and it basically removed a bunch of those strings in there so yeah basically what it does is um, 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 yeah, what it does, the the code right here, what it does is um, I have to sort of like uh, sort the values first. So I have to sort all of these, um, this column called reference text. I use pandas to just uh, go ahead and create another data frame and just sort that and then after that I just sort of just um, um, uh, just uh, keep it in that other data frame and then uh, it saves it in there and then after that um, I mean I can just I can just show you what I mean let, let, let me just I mean, might as well, since I'm right here, I can just show you. So replace, copy, replace. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just run the code, this part of the code. Okay, let me see, I'm just gonna run this. So yeah, as you can see here, um, using pandas, um, oops, let me just, oops. Yeah, what what panda does is just sort of just sorts uh, everything here on reference text right here. As you can see, reference text. So it sorts everything. Um, well, it sorts everything alphabetically, and then if there's any integers, uh, they, they go on top. And for some reason, with pandas, um, it, any unnamed columns, they just, they're just called unnamed. And this part right here, it actually creates another column that shows like which columns move, but I just went ahead and just deleted that right there. So that's basically what uh, the panda does for sorting in Excel files, which for right now, Pandas is the only module that I found that can sort multiple values in Excel for Python use. Um, okay, let me go ahead and copy this back in here. And, oops. After that, let me see. Um, oops. Yeah, so after that, basically what the code does is it just, um, it creates a, a list of all those uh, reference text, all the column with the reference text, and, and then I create this another list, well, I, I input this list of um, of strings that I don't want in in that list in the list of reference text in the reference test uh, list and I go ahead and um, if if any of those reference text is in this is equal to any of these substrings right here <coughs> um, it goes ahead and um, uh, it goes ahead and um, uh, appends it into um, into which row it is. Um, yeah, because I use enumerate to figure out to uh, index which uh, which index each of the reference text. Uh, 
uh, which index the reference text uh, element is. And I go ahead and just add that index into this other list called reference text rows. Then I go ahead and just reverse that uh, reverse that list because when you when you want to delete um, anything from Excel, you have to delete. Sorry, you have to delete things um, backwards. For example, if you want to delete one, um, if you want to delete two, three, six, you can't delete uh, starting from two because if you delete, delete starting from two, and then if you delete two, then suddenly three becomes two, and then it all gets messed up. Uh, so that's why you have to delete. Well, if you want to keep it simple, you delete it from the reverse order. So if you delete from six, four, and two, then the the row index doesn't get messed up while you're deleting rows. So <coughs> yeah, that's basically the first part. Um, filtering out those uh, words, those strings from the reference list that are not needed, and the second part of the code here is just it's just making it a little nicer, just um, changing the width of the columns, and then the second part is um, it's just going into this this Yardy file <coughs> and um, just basically just deleting any number that is uh, less than zero in the in the amount list. So. In here, I don't think there was any, from what I can see. Sometimes there were, so I had to delete them. But in this case, I don't think there were any, so it was uh, fine, I think. So I mean, it was kind of like the same process. I just at, uh, append this entire column into a to a list into Python where it stores the value, and then after that, I just went ahead and just um, um, did a for loop on that list as well but and also enumerated it so I know the index and and I just said for every element in that uh, list um, if it's less than zero if this element the amount here is less than zero then go ahead and just append the index of that element so wherever it is in this list um, and then I go ahead and reverse that list of indexes and then I just delete them and that's basically the first part of the code so I think I already replaced it so I'm going to go ahead and just run it again here okay ran okay it's fine <coughs> um yeah so the next part of the code I'll go ahead and just run it uh in the beginning uh, demonstrate it. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so it finished running. So this is basically what it generates. So, for example, every month they, there's a new deposit file for the CBT and Yardy or whatever. So it, it will automatically generate the whatever month it is. So right now it's October. So it's October. So it creates the October month. So right here. Um, let me see. Basically, what my code does is um, basically, um, let me show you the original. Basically, I basically just copy the same type of information here. So, basically, it contains the same information. So, it has this information from Yardy, this date. This um, also has a date from the CBT. It also has the description here. Uh, it also has this um, account number, and property name, and also has the two amounts in here. But the only difference here is I made it so there's a column for values that are not in um, not in one and not in the other. And I just went ahead and just subtract the difference between those to to show the difference of what's missing. And yeah, that it just 
goes on for all of, all of them. And um, and here the summary is the same thing where the uh, you have the property and then the, the difference here goes up and then the sum of the differences. <coughs> okay, so let me show you how the code went ahead and uh, did its thing here, let me see. Um, so here I just have just a few functions I defined um, just for stylizing stuff. Um, it's not important for right now. So here, um, uh, here I, I, I just made it so um, it knows what month it is. So if, if you ran this code during a different month, um, I mean this 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 reconciliation is supposed to be ran monthly, so it just depends on which month uh, you run. But if you run it during a different month, then I guess it'll it'll just show up as the current month. But I guess I could change that so it can be like more. Um, it can be like an input value instead of like a dynamic thing. Um, right, so, uh, this is a little bit involved, but I'll try to go through it as uh, quickly as possible. Um, so, um, let me see, let me open up this guy again. Um, yeah, so th the first thing I did was, um, I went ahead and um, I created this uh, worksheet uh, object and then created these uh, empty lists to store values that I need from uh, uh, from uh, let me see four okay um Hold on. Uh, there's one thing I forgot to mention. <coughs> there, um, there's this other um, Excel sheet that this uh, code references, which is um, it just basically gives all the account numbers and all this information, uh, which um, which is used to uh, compare with the. Uh, raw information so if the user wants any new property or new numbers they would add it in here any new yardy code or anything or cbt account they would add it in here so so for example in here um i'm getting the property name and the account number and account uh, yardy code from this list right here these three columns and i'm storing it into python uh, so it knows which values to look for in those raw files in the raw CBT and raw um, raw Yardy file. Yeah, so it's basically um, I store those files and then I just convert it into a string because um, in that Excel that account number was was like an uh, an int. After that. <coughs> After that, I just um, just create a tuple with um, the uh, property name and the account number, so it's a little bit uh, uh, neater, so it's easier to uh, write the information down. <coughs> All right, and then um, the, the next thing I had to do was um, I basically go into the deposit the raw file and I'm again I'm extracting the all these uh, values from the raw file so for example the uh, um, the CBT value the ledger date the reference name so I'm just I'm just basically just uh, appending those looping through all these values in the Excel file and appending them into a list. So I have them, to, 
to have those lists to work with in Python. And I'm just here, I'm just changing into the correct uh, type for it to work. And uh, yeah, here I'm just changing the the date so it's uh it looks correct. <coughs> All right, so um after that I have to um sort of um um generate a CBT value list that will match with the CBT key list. Um, right. Um, for I, do, 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 do. so, so for example, I mean, let, let me just, let me just demonstrate this real quick so we can see what's going on. So we can see what's going on. All right, so this, this value right here is, let me see. Um, let me just go ahead and remove this real quick. Just to make everything easier to understand, I'm just going to go ahead and print, print, um, yeah, um, print, uh, CBT, uh, CBT key list string. Let's uh, see what that is real quick. Oh, right. So, yeah, this right here is just, as you can see, <laughs> it's just a list of the strings right here. And what I'm doing here is, um, um, I'm putting this in a for loop and for each of these uh, uh, um, well well technically these are account numbers but I'm just calling it a key because I'm basically using it as like a key to match it with the uh, because in the reference list we have all the account numbers, so I'm just basically using those numbers to match with these numbers. So that's why I'm calling it the key, and not the account numbers. So, anyways, um, yeah, as you can see here, I'm just saying um, for every this and this, for every uh, element in the key list, for every another element in this account uh, num list tuple, and let's just remind ourselves what that is again. Let me just, uh, yeah, that's fine. And this is just from the reference list right here that we did before, and we just created a tuple uh, with the account number and the property name just to condense the information a little bit better <coughs> so basically what I'm saying is if if this element matches with uh, element right if it matches then go ahead and append that um, that uh, match uh, value that matched um, right um, 
I'm basically appending I'm, I'm basically um, appending the property name into uh, another list called um, matched key list right yeah match key list and then I'm also appending another list called match value list which is just um, um, wait, let me see matched value list let me see that quick um, let me see yeah it's just um um, it's just uh, the value list, right, right. Yeah, the value list because um, because the value list and the key, the key, uh, key list string right here is, we, we know it's the same, um, <coughs> these two columns right here. These two columns right here, we know that they have the same amount of uh, uh, rows. So if we can say um, we know which row the account number is right here, because we matched it, we matched the account number. Therefore, we know the property name of it since we matched it, and then because there's a tuple with the matched uh, account number list, so we know that. And also, since we know, since we matched the original uh, original uh, key list string, we, we, we can know which, uh, we can use the same index to find the, the associated um, amount number with that. Uh, with that uh, key list string or account number right here, so that so that's basically how um, I'm retrieving those values. So yeah, and then <coughs> uh, here as well. I mean, I'm doing the same thing for the, the reference text. Basically, just um, just adding that, uh, appending that to um, to the list, and also the the date here. Let me close that out. And then after that, um, after that, I'm just um, adding this. I'm just um, again condensing the information again into uh, another tuple. And then um, I'm sort of like grouping, grouping all the grouping the reference text and the the match keys together into uh, a bigger tuple. Um, so yeah, here match value list. These are the the values that match. This is the reference text. This is the the date right here. So let me just show you it again. So here is the amount. I'm just matching all these things together. There's like again right here. Basically this right here. And then this tuple here, I'm just basically just creating a tuple with the property name and also this information. And then right here, I'm basically just, uh, from what I understand, just grouping it together um, in, in, in the sense of, um, uh, one property name um, can have 
multiple of uh, oops. Uh, one one property name can have uh, uh, multiple uh, of these values because obviously in here there's multiple property names and multiple values so I'm basically just creating a, a bit of like a dictionary where the the property name is the key and they can have like multiple dictionary values so a dictionary value is basically just um, uh, is, is, is basically a list right so yeah is a, is a tuple with the property name and a list of of the multiple the, the different values that uh, that that has the property so yeah just basically all of these and one of that so yeah that's basically what that does and um, <coughs> and basically the same thing I do the same thing with the yardy one right here I can just open that up as well um, yeah I'm basically just extracting all the the rows putting it into a list so I can store it into Python so I can uh, analyze the data um, yeah I'm just basically just um, massaging the data making sure the data is right and everything uh, let me just highlight and highlight some more of this here uh, let's see um, here I'm just creating this is where I create the new uh, workbook file it's just um it's just depending on the uh, the date the end date um, which I believe comes from somewhere I forgot like for example oops oh, I didn't run it Ugh, crap yeah, let me just run it uh, well, like basically, as you saw before, it's just like when this file ran, it's just, um, it basically shows like the month, like October to whatever the t 21st. And I think that 21st value comes from, uh, one of the Yardy, Yardy dates, I think. I think it comes from the latest Yardy date. So whatever this is right here, like 21st or whatever, I think that's where it comes from. Uh, yeah anyways um, yeah so for example, I'm just adding all the values again so right here I'm just um, oops yeah so here I mean I'm trying to get the this yardy code right here <coughs> this is the unique code that comes from the yardy file so Right here, I'm just basically just truncating it from here. So I'm only seeing this part and adding that to Python to store it. And after that, I'm just basically doing the same thing where it's like, I can just go ahead and demonstrate it again, just to be extremely clear. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, so basically, um, print, print, okay. Um, Right, so 
again I'm just looking into doing a for loop on this um, this list here and I'm saying and also also doing a for loop on this guy here which let me just this is the original from the reference from the reference uh, uh, reference sheet all the way back so let me just do that um, yeah so the reference sheet which is basically just the yardy code and the property name as the second element or the second thing in the tuple I don't know if it's an element but yeah, the second value in the tuple. And this is what we just got from extracting it from the raw file and just removing this hyphen right here to get the, the Yardy code. So again, what I'm basically saying, oh, if for everything in here and also this thing in here, if, if this element in the Yardy key list is equal to you know this element here where the in the yardy reference list if it equals then if it equals then um, then then the matched value is uh, the matched value is um this property so so we know that it's this property right and then after that, um, I go ahead and append that to uh, the list here. So it's basically just um, a list of all the properties. So it matches with here and here, right? <coughs> and then um, I go ahead and match the the amount because again the um, the amount and this thing is they're, they're on the same row so I know the I know the index for one then I know the the index for the other one I can just call the index for this one and then put the same index in here and I will ret retrieve the associated value there so I, I go ahead and put that value into uh, another list called match value list. So that's why you can see it shows up here. And then let me go ahead and just uh, do the rest of this. And then I do the same thing for the date to get the, all the dates. <coughs> Let me see. Go ahead and just print all this out. I'll just go ahead and just um, print all this out as well. Okay. Um, okay. All right. So here I just create a tuple with the date and then the match keys or the property name, basically. After that, I make another tuple with with um, what is it? With the date. I mean, not the the, the value and the and the property. And then I go ahead and um, um, I go ahead and group um, the group the um, the property and then also the 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 values into a into a tuple with the property and then a list of all the associated uh, values. So for example, this one right here is uh, all of these ones right here, as you can see, right there and right there. So I'm basically using the sort of like grouper 
almost dictionary method to, to, to do that. Um, I wasn't quite sure if I needed to group the date. The, the date and the value separately. I guess that's how I did it, but I'm not sure if that was necessary. I'm pretty sure I could have just combined them together, but that's fine. And then um, let's... <coughs> And this final grouping is just um, a list of list of all of those uh, information that I need. So I would say that is the first part of the code uh, for mostly extracting the information from the raw files and storing it into Python where I can use it. And then the second part would be going ahead and writing um, the file, the all the values stored and like organized already into another Excel file. Um, so yeah, let me, let me show you that. I can just unhighlight a bunch of this. All right, so, okay. And then after that, I just go ahead and just, um, this is just sorting it, sorting the tuples or whatever. This is in order because uh, right now it was not in order, but if I were to, to um, okay, I can just show you, it's not a huge deal. It's just, um, it's just, an, it's just an order now, basically using this, um, bubble sort of thing. So yeah, it's in order now. All right, so um, right. So again, I'm uh, going to <coughs> go ahead and um, open up another uh, Open up another uh, work worksheet here, and um, let me see what am I doing. I think what I'm doing here is um, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just taking the property name list right here, so I can just let me just print it out here. Property name list is just a list of all the property names from the original reference list. So I can just show you right here. Again, this is from this is from right here. Oops, let me open it. Yep, this is from right here. This is where I got that from in the in the earlier part of the code. And what I'm doing is I'm just um not really sure what this is. Dot sort. I guess it puts it in ascending order or something anyways maybe it wasn't in ascending order that was why that looks like ascending order i'm not sure maybe it wasn't um anyways um i'm just going ahead and creating uh, a sheet for every uh property name in here so for example I can just go ahead and just demonstrate that real quick. Um, if I do this, and I need to do notebook three dot save. Um, oh, what did I save it as? If I just go ahead and run this, oh, let me go ahead and close that out. Let me delete that. So if I just run this, um, yeah. So what it does is it, it it created a new sheet for every 
property name in that list I had. So as you can see here, there's it created a, li uh, a sheet, a new sheet for every single one. So that's basically what that did. Um, right. Right. And then, um, yeah, this part is a little, let me see here, a little complicated. Um, so I'm basically, um, I own it anyway. Let me see what a CBT grouping is again. I think it's, um, Grouping. Uh, let me just close that out again. Okay, CPT grouping is basically just the property name and then the whole list of all the information regarding um, regarding that one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, so what I'm saying here is, um, or what I'm trying to do here is, um, uh, for any, for every element in here, and then also for every element in in here, which is basically just all the all those sheet names I created. Um, if uh, the property name in the first element of, I mean, in the first value of the tuple, right, which is the property name. Um, that's why I put a zero here because it's the first uh, the element of the tuple. <coughs> if um, if that is equal to the worksheet name, which I just named them all the worksheet names over there. Um, yeah, I'm just basically changing the worksheet. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm changing the active uh, uh, worksheet to that particular one, to the name of that particular one. So let me actually, let me just uh, run that again. Oh crap. Wait, hold on, let me run that again. Wait, I didn't save it, that's why. Well, yeah, anyways, like, there was a bunch of uh, different sheets and with the property name, and I'm basically changing the, where it's active, so when I'm saying, like, uh, worksheet three or whatever it knows which sheet I'm um, which sheet I'm supposed to be working with so here I'm just go ahead and writing the um, uh, the worksheet property the worksheet name and the word CBT in there um, here I'm saying um, <coughs> um, right yeah for for all these elements like okay for example for this one since the second value of the tuple is all this information about the property, I'm saying um, just go ahead and um, write uh, write the value into that spe specific spot where I want it in the in the sheet so let me let me just demonstrate that real quick um, okay oops book so 
so yeah, for example here, just make this all bigger here. I'm basically saying, oh, right. Um, because um, the first value, so this is basically, <coughs> um, uh, the first value of the list here. I mean, no, 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 the, the, this is, is always looking at the, um, uh, wait, this is, this first bracket here is saying the first, the first tuple, which is this one, but it's also saying, and then, and then it's saying this first value in this list, which is the second part of the tuple. And then it's saying, um, whatever, whatever X, right? Oh, it's saying, oh yeah, this is, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the, the first tuple. And then after that, it's this list. And then it's saying, oh, which, whichever triplet of, of triplet or whatever, or tuple of information, which, which one of these, because there's multiple of them. And then for this one is saying just that first element, which is this value. So this is basically just writing right here, which is saying, oh, here, column three, one, two, three. And then because there are multiple, because what I'm saying here is for uh, for every element in in um in this list, right? In this list, which is the second element of the tuple of the of the tuple here, which is the list of all the informations, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, so however many one of those there are. So right here, there's uh, one, two, three, four. There's four of them. So I can just be uh, like one, two, three. Okay, there's three. Yeah, there's three. So One, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. So it goes into here. So, so here is just basically saying, um, this value goes into here, and then, and then after that, it, I'm just changing the number format so it shows up as like a dollar sign, and after that it says, oh, this value. Um, this value, this next value right here, which is the reference text, goes in this column right here. <coughs> uh, these ones are none, so nothing is written here. And then also, um, oh wait, this is wrong, but this should be uh, the, the date, sorry. And then right here, this um, writes the date, which which is um, again this is the the second element. I mean the third element if you don't count zero, or the second element if you count zero. So it's the date right here, in which you copy in column two, and then however many. Uh, uh, how many uh, these tuples of information you have with it. So yeah, that's basically how the information is being copied into the Excel sheet. And um, basically the same thing happens for the Yardy one as well. It's basically the same thing. So <coughs> I, don't, I don't know if I have to show that 
Well, let me see. Um, yeah, it's basically the same thing. Um, there's another part here that's a little bit, uh, a little bit involved, a little bit here. Yeah, it's right here. So the kind of last part that is a little bit involved is, um, let me, let me just do this. So let's just say this. Yeah, the last part that's kind of involved is um this part where I'm calculating the difference here. So <coughs> so yeah, basically um basically what I'm doing is um well basically after I copy the the CBT and Yardi amounts, which is basically the same process. I showed you the CBT, but the Yardi is the same thing. Basically, I had an issue of I needed to somehow calculate this difference here, but this difference is in the Excel. It's not in the Python. So I was thinking, oh, should I calculate it before <coughs> I write it somehow? Or should I just copy it back so it turns out I thought it was just easier just to uh, copy the information back to Python so I can calculate it in there and then write it back into the Excel file so let me see here so where the heck am I um, Yeah, so right here I'm basically just um, reading these uh, values back into here, into the Python to store it. And then what I'm doing here is um, like uh, sometimes there's like none values in here, so I just make sure there's no nuns in the list. And um, Yeah, and then uh, I'm not sure why I did a pop on there. Maybe there's an extra value that I'm not aware of. Or, or maybe it's because of, actually, I'm not too sure. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's that important anyways. So, um, how did I not in Yardy? Wait, at what point did I read? Um, yeah, okay, I'm reading it back into the list, okay. Right here, I, I, I'm just going, okay. Um, CBT values, okay, let, let me just go ahead and just, um, let me just print this, print this out just to make it very clear. So, yeah, for example, this is the first list, which is a bunch of nothing, and then this one. So I'm just going ahead and copying these values into Python, 
as you can see and I just made sure everything's correct here and this one as well so those are the correct values and then what I'm saying here is um, I'm just taking the difference between these these uh, two sets well I convert I convert this into a set which is, which is just basically two curly brackets, I believe. And sets are not ordered, so, but the order doesn't matter in this case. And the difference, um, and, and, and I show you, and, um, and if you do a, uh, a dot difference with another set, it tells you, um, I believe for this one, uh, let me just go ahead and just print it out just to make sure I'm not exactly sure which one it does, but let me see. Um, close that out. Right, so. Yeah, so um, okay. Um, this one it takes the CBT values right here, these values, and it kind of just takes the difference between these ones. So the only difference was uh, that was not in this one in the yardy values is three fifty five. So that why. Uh, that's the reason why I put it in this column because it's not in this one and same thing for well well I call it not in Yardy but in here I call it CBT difference but I guess it's the same thing I, I, I'm not I'm not I'm not quite sure but same thing with this one I take this one and I, I take the Yardy value to see if there's anything any yardy values that are not in the CBT and in this case every single yardy value maps to a value in CBT so there is no difference in this case there's no um, I, I don't know if set difference is the correct term but uh, there you go <coughs> right. Um, um, yeah, right here I'm just just formatting the the numbers a little bit so it looks nice. And yeah, and then basically that was basically well. There's a little bit more to it, but just just unhide everything. Oh crap. Yeah, so um, let's find where my fix later. Um, yeah, I go ahead and delete this. Uh, well, here I just set a border so it looks nicer here. Uh, from always, it's, it's always starts from A2 to this right here. So that's why I picked those in the max row, whatever the max row is, uh, minus one. I delete the sheet because I don't need it, and then I create a new uh, a new sheet called summary. Well, yeah, a new sheet called summary where I um, I just write down all these values here, and then I'm basically just um, uh, copying. Well, <coughs> well, since I know the, I'm just writing it in an Excel formula here. I'm not um, like uh, constructing it from scratch. I'm just cre creating this Excel formula here. Um, I can just demonstrate it real quick. 
is basically the, the last part right here. Yeah, this is basically just an Excel formula because we know what the, each of the sheet names are. So we can just insert the sheet name and then we know what, where the difference is, the number we care about, which is the total difference, which is here. Um, yeah, so I'm just linking it here. And then, yeah, and then basically the rest of this is I'm just um, making all the widths correct because some of these things are a little bit different sometimes. And then I'm just uh, just doing a little minor alignment and uh, setting borders and making stuff bold and making negative numbers red. And uh, yeah, and I save it and then that is it. That is it for my program. Thanks guys for watching and uh, have a good day.